Hi, welcome to On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway. Now today I'm taking you back to the reign of Queen Elizabeth I, but on this day in Tudor history, the 7th of July 1568, naturalist, herbalist, ornithologist, reformer and physician William Turner died. Turner is known as the father of English botany and of ornithology. But why and who exactly was he? Well, here are some William Turner facts. He was born in Morpeth in Northumberland in around 1509-1510 and was the son of a tanner. He was educated at Pembroke College, Cambridge, under the patronage of Thomas Baron Wentworth, and he graduated with a Bachelor of Arts before being elected as a Fellow in 1531. He began studying for a Master's in 1533, and became the college's treasurer in 1538. Turner was of the reformed faith and was friends with bishops Hugh Latimer and Nicholas Ridley, who ended up being executed as heretics in Mary I's reign as two of the Oxford martyrs. He became a deacon in 1536 and began preaching. Turner became a deacon in 1536 and began preaching. Despite being a deacon, he married Alice Alder in 1540, and in 1541, when his marriage led him to get into trouble, he and his wife fled into exile abroad. After travelling up the Rhine, Turner settled for a year or so in Ferrara in Italy and studied for his MD at Bologna. He also studied botany. Then he moved on to Switzerland and finally back to the Rhineland. Turner recorded the plants and birds he saw on his journey. In 1543, Turner published The Hunting and Finding Out of the Romish Fox, which attacked Bishop Stephen Gardner and also a tract on birds. In the meantime, he supported his wife, son and daughters with his practice as a physician before moving into the service of the Duke of Emden for four years. He published another attack on Bishop Gardner in 1545. In 1547, following the death of King Henry VIII, Turner returned to England to serve as physician and chaplain to Edward Seymour, Duke of Somerset and Lord Protector, and also as a Member of Parliament. He published a botanical work, Names of Herbs, in 1549, and in 1550 was appointed prebendary of Botavant in York Cathedral and then Dean of Wells Cathedral in 1551. In 1551, he also published the first part of his great work, A New Herbal, wherein are contained the names of herbs. In December 1552, he was ordained as a priest by Bishop Ridley, but 1553 saw the accession of the Catholic Queen Mary I, and he fled into exile once more, spending time in Cologne, Worms and Weissenberg. While in exile, he worked on the second part of his herbal, a work on fish, one on medicinal baths, and also another attack on Bishop Gardner, the hunting of the Romish wolf, and a new book of spiritual physic. Turner returned to England after Mary's death in 1558, but wasn't restored as Dean at Wells until 1560, although he began preaching earlier. The second part of his herbal, which was dedicated to his former patron, Thomas Wentworth, was published in 1562, with the third part following in 1568. The final part was published with revised editions of the first two parts and was dedicated to Queen Elizabeth I. In Elizabeth's reign, he continued to be a religious controversialist in the vestments controversy, with his opposition of what he viewed as papist vestments. Turner spent his final years at his London home in Crutch Friars and died there on this day in 1568. He was buried two days later in St Olaf's Church, Hart Street. Turner's other works include New Book of the Natures and Properties of All Wines, Book of the Natures and Virtues of Triacles, or Ointments, of the natures and properties as well of the baths in England as of other baths in Germany and Italy, translations of religious works and his own religious works, examination of the mass and of that kind of priesthood 
and against the poison of Pelagius lately renewed and stirred up again by the furious sect of the Anabaptists, as well as those I've already mentioned. And now for some Turner trivia, a fact that I just love. According to his biographer, Whitney R. D. Jones, Turner trained his little dog to leap up and snatch off the corner cap of a bishop at table. Another Turner fact is that Turner created the now recognisable English names for many species which had previously only been known by their Latin names. I'll give you a link to read Turner's Herbal for yourself. In Carlisle Park, in the heart of Turner's hometown, Morpeth, is the William Turner Garden, which features a reconstructed Tudor garden, including a traditional knot garden and physic beds, containing examples of some of the medicinal plants with which William Turner worked. Also on this day in Tudor history, the 7th of July 1556, in the reign of Queen Mary I, Henry Peckham and John Daniel were hanged, drawn and quartered, after being found guilty of treason for their involvement in the Dudley Conspiracy. But what was the Dudley Conspiracy and who was involved in it? What happened? You can find out in last year's video, which I'll give you a link to. You can subscribe to this channel by clicking round about there. You can hit the bell to be notified as these videos go live and you can give me a like and leave me a comment. Thank you. Bye bye.